Along Voorhees Lane and Ramona, a feet from a pile of debris. I'm in shock even still. A memorial created by Jill Trowbridge. Sa sad, I'm going to really miss my friend. Trowbridge, who moved to the area in October, says she and her friend, who was about 60 years old, became fast friends. She says they bonded because both had suffered brain injuries in the past. And the one she gave to me to cheer me up. And both did coloring exercises to help heal. I have ongoing um, neuro stuff I'm working on, and she did too. So we're like, oh my gosh, no one knows how weird it is to have to do this. Trowbridge says her friend lived in this trailer on her family's property, and other health issues prevented her from leaving the trailer. She'd been in the trailer without ability to stand up or walk uh, or get out of the door for two to three years. On Saturday afternoon, fire consuming the trailer she lived in. It was fully engulfed by the time fire crews and deputies arrived. The body of a woman later discovered in the debris. Deputies say a man who tried to put out the fire did suffer burns and smoke inhalation. Trowbridge says that person was her caregiver. The sheriff's department says the identity of the woman will be sealed pending the results of an autopsy. As the sheriff's arson unit investigates the cause. I just want people to remember. Friends honor the memory of a woman struggling but supportive. The most positive person I know. Trowbridge says her friend was showing signs of trying to get better physically, becoming more social. I really had hope for her situation. Um, that it could get better. Before the fire that swept through her home. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News.